So probably about a month ago now, uh, OpenAI released uh, their model Clip, which is uh, a captioning, it's like a image to text uh, machine learning model. Um, and it's really powerful because they've trained it on a huge, huge corpus of data. Um, and since then, uh, we've seen people being able to use Clip. Um, I'll probably talk about Clip a little bit more in another video, uh, but people have started using Clip to actually guide um, their GAN models. So uh, I think I first saw this from Ryan Murdoch, whose work is here. Um, I've seen a couple other people do their own variations on it as well. Um, but it's a pretty interesting idea of just sort of like uh, moving latents based on uh, the scoring of a, um, of a captioning model. Um, so today we're going to look at actually uh, Ryan's um, Colab notebook to walk through this um, to show how we can generate these ourselves. So um, some pretty fun stuff. So uh, first off, here is the Colab notebook. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and start running it just because uh, some of this takes a little bit of time. Um, so I'll describe a little bit about the process here while this runs. And I will, of course, as always, add a link to this uh, in the video description. Cool. So while this runs, um, basically we have to use the latest version of, uh, what is it, PyTorch? I think it's PyTorch or CUDA, one of the two. Um, and uh, I don't believe Colab uh, uses that by default, so we're going to have to set this up and run this. Um, while this runs and we install the software, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, Bill, James, and Ashkan, who are um, recent-ish um, subscribers to the YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate uh, the support from folks. Um, it helps support uh, me making these videos, so um, thanks to those three folks. Um, we just fin finished selling out all the classes. I'll probably be doing um, some different types of classes over the next couple months, so um, as a part of your... Uh, YouTube membership, you do get uh, discounts to various classes and other things in my store, um, as well as sort of early access to videos and that sort of thing as well. So um, if you're interested, I definitely appreciate when folks sign up and uh, support me. Um, all right, so this is still running. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what Clip is. So Clip is this massive, uh, massive open AI um, train model that uh, it sort of works um, like lots of other text or image to text captioning projects. Um, it's just been trained on a lot of data and a lot of captions. Um, and that means it's able to sort of like talk to a wider, or it's able to caption a wider range of images. Um, so what Ryan has done here is he's basically figured out a way to uh, generate an image using this is uses big by gan or this uses big gan. So this is what he calls the big sleep. He's got a couple of these different versions. Um, the big sleep uses big gan, um, which is obviously a really good model to use as a gan because it's been trained on a bunch of topics. So whereas like you think style gan is like a little bit more narrow, like. Um, Big GAN is a much wider range of classes and things. Um, so what Ryan has figured out is a way to uh, generate an image using Big GAN, um, score it according to a token or a text piece of text uh, according to Clip, and then um, using sort of the latents uh, inside of Big GAN, able to move the model in the direction you want it to move in. Um, so this is a really, really cool tool, and he's uh, thankfully opened up uh, his little kit of tools and, and made it available on Colab. Um, there is a link to his Venmo if you're interested in thanking him. Um, I sent him a little bit of money uh, just because I really appreciate his all. His, he does a lot of work um, in the open and it's very nice to sort of see how other people work. Um, so I think we're just about finished with installing this. So the first thing you have to do with this Colab notebook is you have to run this cell. Once you finish running the cell, you have to then restart it. Uh, this is because we're using a uh, new CUDA and then as well as I believe um, new PyTorch. So uh, you just go up here, you'll go runtime, and you will go, uh, what does he say? Restart and run all. So restart runtime. Do yes. And then you will skip the cell because uh, you've already run it. And uh, now we've got a bunch, do a bunch of imports of various libraries and things. So I'll go ahead and run this one by one. So run those two cells. Um, and then we need to actually import clip. And I believe he's importing in a particular model. Um, if you've seen the newest OpenAI work, they have they've announced two models. One is Clip and one is Dolly. Uh, Clip is the captioning uh, tool, and Dolly is uh, sort of like attention GAN. If you've seen me do my attention GAN demo, um, it generates text to image. They haven't made Dolly uh, readily open available to the public yet, um, but they have made Clip available. So that's what we're going to use here. So uh, this is now loaded in. So this is the only. Uh, this is pretty much the only um, cell you actually need to edit. So the first thing we need to do is actually edit our token. So this token is basically the caption that we want to generate an image from. Um, so I'm going to try something here. Uh, I haven't actually run this before, but we'll see how this one goes. So let's say the white cat 
chased the red bird around the yard. No idea if this is going to work. Um, I will say this is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you get really, really amazing images and sometimes you get nothing. Um, and, you know, it's kind of just is what it is. So let's see how this one goes. So we'll now run this cell to make sure we've saved this. Um, we need to add some helper functions here. And then we need to set up our generator, which is the big GAN model. And then while this runs, this next cell just generates um, a, I believe, a random vector. Um, it's not really that random. I think it's actually not random. It's it's generated using some of this work. Um, so this will generate our starting point. Uh, so I believe with the code that's here, it will always start with this dog, which is probably right for this. Um, I've seen some folks talk about how you probably want to start in a, a relatively good range or a relatively good area um, in order to sort of optimize the model. So this already being a dog, we're looking for a cat in a yard. This is probably a good place to start. So let's just see how this goes. Um, so we'll run this cell uh, next. And this will just spit out uh, the default image. And now we're ready to run, um, is this just the training code or is this actually, yeah, so this is actually the, tra the, the model code. So now we're all set up here and we can actually run this. Um, one thing that's funny to note is this is actually a really cool thing that I like that Ryan does this. There is a line here that will uh, spit out a dinging noise um, every time you generate an image. Um, this generates sort of iteratively over and over again. Um, so if you don't like that noise, you can turn this noise off by uh, commenting that out. I'm going to turn this on and just leave it in there. Um, and then just so you know, at the very bottom here is the actual loop. Uh, this will basically run for, God, I don't know how long this would run for. This would probably run for days if you let it go. Um, you don't need to let this run to completion. Um, what will happen is as this model runs, let's go ahead and run it now, actually. Um, as this model runs, it will spit out uh, iterations on the image over and over. It run, I think it spits out one about every minute. Um, so, uh, you know, this is set up to run for a very, very long time. Um, I usually find that, you know, pretty quickly, uh, these resolve to something that's good. Um, if they don't, they probably will, will never resolve to something good. Um, so you can just sort of keep an eye on it. I would say, you know, within 10 minutes, you should get a decent image. Um, and if you don't, there's a bunch of notes here at the bottom that I really haven't messed with that you can play with to sort of like, see if you can get some things working a little bit better. Um, but in general, this, this seems to work pretty well. Um, I like this. This is a, a pretty fun little library and, um, you know, the truth is we haven't really seen a lot of text to image, um, techniques come up recently. Like I feel like attention game was really the last big one I saw. Um, so I'm really excited to sort of see more and more work being done in this area, whether it's through stuff like, uh, the big sleep or what stuff through Dolly. Um, so I, I hope we'll see more of this because I think it's really, really interesting and really fascinating to think that you could write a, a sentence or a phrase and you could generate an image from that. I'm going to let this run for about 10 minutes. I'm going to stop the video and I'll come back once we have an image generated and we can sort of see what it looks like. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've let this run for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Um, and if you remember, this is where we started. Uh, so is this dog image. Um, and pretty quickly, uh, we get to uh, a white cat looking thing. Uh, it seems to have both a tail for a head and a tail out of its butt. Um, and then these little red specks, which I guess you could say look kind of like birds. Um, so sometimes, you know, this is all you're going to get with, with some of these models. Um, and I have to say, I let this run for a long time, but you'll see it really didn't change that much over, over a period of time. It sort of settled into a certain area and then it, you know, maybe is blurring out the birds a little bit more or less and the cat tail gets weirder or less weird. Um, so sometimes like, you know, this would have run and I would have gotten a good image in five minutes. Um, sometimes I have seen that it runs better for another 30 minutes and it like optimizes better and better. So, um, your mileage may vary with, with this. And I think it's, um, worth exploring and seeing, um, there's lots of cool examples of people taking this a bit further. I've seen some people using this for song lyrics as a way to animate videos. Um, I've seen different models. So I might show an example later, uh, where you can hook this up to a style game model, um, to work with your own train model. You know, big GAN is a pretty hard, hard model to train. Um, I've seen maybe one or two hobbyists actually be able to pull it off. Um, but it could work pretty well with Salgan. Um, so maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, but anyway, I think it's a really cool technique and there's lots of ways you could see this working um, by just tracking the loss of, of one model and applying it to the, the generator of another model. So, um, 
you know, there's a ton of really cool work that could be done here, and I expect to see lots of more really interesting examples of it. Um, but for now, you can just play with this uh, Colab notebook. Um, if you make some cool, drop it in my Slack channel. Um, if you have questions, drop me a note. Um, and until next time, thanks.